Um, on the agenda, I wanted to add um, the Inland Port and Intermodal Facility. I've been working closely with Chairman Slaughter, so thank you for that. Uh, we have a meeting in uh, Savannah with the Board of Ports Authority and our um, Vice President of Economic and Industrial Development to talk about the prospect of Inland Port and Intermodal Facilities here in Valdosta. So we'll be taking a contingency there to talk about our community and to promote some existing sites that we may have that can be served by rail um, and how we might be able to accommodate those requests. We'll also talk about imports and exports because one of the largest things that revolves or that ill imports and intermodal facilities are based on is the amount of import and exports that your region have. So we're actually working to pull that information with some of our partners who will be able to take that information with us. I've also worked with um, CSX on making contact with them to schedule a meeting, as well as Norfolk Southern. So we'll be meeting with them as well in the future. Um, and then also, <coughs> Megan mentioned that we go up every year to Atlanta for GEDA's legislative event to kick it off. But we also host a local or a regional legislative dinner. And we do that with our South Georgia Alliance, and you'll see that down here. And those are our four communities that are um, Thomas County, Lowndes County, Cook County, and Brooks County. And we invite all of those representatives and senators. So we have Representative Dar Darlene Taylor, Representative Penny Houston, Representative Amy Carter, Representative Jason Shaw, Representative John Corbett, and Representative Dexter Sharper, and Senator Ellis Black at the dinner, along with um, the Commissioner, Chris Carr, for Department of Economic Development, and his governmental affairs individual, Elmer Stancil, we also had um, newly appointed Commissioner Gretchen Corbin from the Technical College System of Georgia, along with Quick Start, which is Nikki Vanderslice. We also have <coughs> Commissioner Camila Knowles, who's also newly appointed. She was with us, as well as her new COO, Brian Dill. So we had a great dinner. We also had the Deputy Commissioner for Film also attended. <coughs> As we had a great dinner, we talked about some bills that are important to us, which one of those is um, SB 63 that affects one of our projects that we've got listed here. So um, just making sure that we make those connections so that they know what's going on here and what we're doing. Um, we had hosted that. Um, and then while we're there, we always visit our state allies. So you know that. Um, we also hosted the Wiregrass Georgia Technical Strategic Planning Meeting here at our property. So that was our first official meeting that we've ever hosted here from a, a, a group perspective and it went really well. It was a great productive meeting. Um, we are doing the Locate South Georgia Regional Initiative and that means we're part of a 21 county partnership to help promote South Georgia as a globally competitive place to do business. So it's to really give us one voice to speak out on economic development and marketing our whole entire region, not just from, you know, business perspective, but also legislative issues um, and all the assets and demographics that we do have here to educate. Um, we'll have our first kickoff meeting in February uh, 26th and 27th, so that will be taking place then. Um, and I also am serving <coughs> as the co-chair for the target industry um, subcommittee that Valdosta State University President McKinney's Advisory Council. So we had our first meeting last week, I believe and um, we're doing some follow-up on that. Um, and that concludes my report. Thank you. You want to talk about the board retreat? Oh, and then we have our board retreat. So I just I sent everybody a calendar invite for April 10th, and we're actually going to be hosting it this year at Wild Adventures. So um, give you a different aspect to economic development. Um, so we'll be going to Wild Adventures and hosting it there, and Molly Deese has been very helpful in setting us up. Staying okay. local with the retreat. We were staying local. <laughs> but far, then, you know, doing something gets for our insight. Mm -hmm. Addition team building by Ronnie Roller Thank you. Thank you for your report. Is Mr. Gupton still on? Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, I'm here. Um, we've been pretty busy this month with uh, two or three uh, development groups in this year, at least, or actually two. Uh, and Mr. Parents and I have, have visited the uh, Board of Assessors to try to get on top of the tax treatment for our clients. Uh, so 
it has been good business the first part of this year. That's all I have to say. That's it, Mr. Gupton? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That brings us to citizens to be heard.